Okay, yeah, I'm gonna turn the light on. Cause, uh... You know. There we go. So, uh, yes, I got this three days ago. Got in the mail yesterday. Um... And some of you want to know, uh, what it is. Remember I told you guys, like, Wednesday or Tuesday of last week, I told you guys that, um, I was going to do an unwrapping video for next month. Well, I got the first Happy Meal toy, and this is actually from the new Marvel movie that will be coming out in theaters by November 10th, which I really don't get why, um... They're putting it out there in November, because I thought they were going to put it out there in March, like they did with the last movie. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get this open up and show you guys which toy I got. So, I got toy one of the Marvel, Marvel Studios, the Marvels. And it's Captain Marvel. So, here she is in the bag. I'm going to get her out of the bag, like, right now. And show you guys what she does. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so, here she is out of the bag. Um, it's pretty cool. Very cute at the same time. Check this out. I don't know what she's doing. I want to say this looks like he, she's, like, punching you in the face or something. Or, like, shooting, like, her fireballs at you, like, Super Mario style. And, yes, if you guys have another one of these... What's pretty cool, she does have the fire on her hands. And the base right here, like right here, you guys, is actually yellow. If you have Miss Marvel, she has purple. And the new character that they're introducing in the upcoming movie named Photon, she has white, like the Milky Way color white. Not like the candy bar, like the one in space, you know, if you ever uh, seen that in the science videos so yeah um i'm gonna probably try to get some of them i'm really need to get a goose miss marvel and princess carol which yes if y'all didn't know that's actually miss i mean captain marvel's uh real name but anyway guys um hope you guys like comment subscribe so okay guys so if y'all want to know why I couldn't do an unboxing yesterday of the Peacemaker Pop Final. One, I was kind of a little bit cleaning, you know, like picking up trash, you know. So, yeah. Uh, anywho, uh, let's go ahead and get that to the side. Um, like, seriously, no rush. We got the Pop Television Peacemaker, the series. Number 12... 132. So here's the front. The side. And the back. Um, you get Peacemaker with Eagly. Eagly the Eagle. Like his, uh, little pet. Eagly. Hold on, let me refer to that. Peacemaker with Eagly. Peacemaker and his, well, tidy whities Vigilante, Judo Master, and Eagly. So yeah, let's go ahead and get him out of the box, box, and see what he looks like. Okay, guys. So here he is out of the box. Um. So yeah, uh, you can like barely, barely rotate his head. I don't know if it's because he has the eagle holding, if he's holding the eagle or what. But, yep, uh, this is, like, my second John Cena pop final, because, uh, guys, if y'all know, this is literally John Cena in his Peacemaker outfit from the show. If my camera would focus. Yep, you can tell because of the hair he's growing out right here. And, yeah, pretty cool. And I really don't get why they make his little Roman Reigns pants, brownish white. Because I remember from his first pop final from the Suicide Squad, the one that came out in 2021, 20, 
He sort of had white pants, but they're just like a tannish brown. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so, yes, stay tuned for this after this video on here. Like, stay tuned for this unboxing of Pat McPhee, because I know y'all are really expecting me to see this guy get unboxed. So, stay tuned for that. So, um, we're doing the Mutant Mayhem Leonardo, which I want to probably wait till the movie comes out on Blu-ray, because I know the movie's coming out in theaters by this, by two days. So, yep, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get him out of the bag, shall we? Okay, guys, so, here he is. Uh, yes, this is actually my second, I mean, my first time getting a Mat Oh, plushie, because, um, I think I have another one, but I don't really remember if I do or not, but... Yes, uh, if y'all can tell, look at the little tag right here. Mattel make these plushies um but yes like i said if i told you guys in some of the other ninja turtles videos i've made for the past few months leo is my first favorite ninja turtle then mikey's my second uh so yeah um anyway he has like that little fa he does have like the little fabric on him well he does like right here with the little bow tie thing on his star Let's go ahead and get the tags off and see what he looks like without the tags on. So, here we go. Okay, here's the tag. Um, I had to pause the video again because uh, somebody was uh, driving past. So, yeah. Here's the tag. Made by Mattel. And here's the little barcode. Like the little scan code right there. And... Here's the plus you have the tags on. And yes, I actually saw this one, the one that y'all are seeing me reviewing right now, at Walmart, like, I want to say like 50 minutes ago. They all had three. They all had Leo, Mikey, and Donnie. They didn't have Raph, so yeah. But anyway, guys, because like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Oh, wait, I thought I paused. Okay, the moment that y'all been waiting for. The Basic Series 139 Pat McPhee. Former football player. Um, sadly, taking a break from, like, doing stuff with WWE. Doing, like, commentating for the football team. Don't know which one, because I know he is... Because I heard... Because I know he used to be a football player, and this is actually my very first football former football player action figure because I really don't go like football stuff till now. So, well, except for Baron Corbin because Baron Corbin, he used to be a football player. So, yeah. Um. So, here is the other wrestlers you get in the set. Hulk Hogan, Matt Riddle, Liv Morgan, which, fun fact about this red attire she's wearing right here. Um... It's, she did, according to, uh, people who are a fan of her, uh, they said that she actually wore the color red, because some people thought it was, like, Daredevil colors, but no, it was actually based on a outfit that Britney Spears wears, wears, in one of her music videos. And John Cena with hopefully a removable hat and armband, which I'm going to try to find that John Cena. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get him out of the box and see what he looks like. Okay, guys, so here he is out of the package. Um, we all know how basics work. Uh, they're not using, like, these type of action figure, uh, articulation anymore for the newer basics. And they're not using the same color package that they've been using for the past two years. So, yeah. Uh, anyway. Now, yes, you guys can tell. He has a removable shirt. And a removable gold chain necklace. Thing's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. What do I give this review? 
I'm gonna give it a hundred percent. Guys, again, this is a, just an unboxing. And I'm boxing and review but anyway guys hope you guys like comment subscribe hey guys i am back with another video and happy tuesday so yeah i got this in the mail yesterday again couldn't do an unboxing yesterday so um anyway uh this is nightwing and the package there are some other characters you get in the set, including Red Hood. So yeah, let's go ahead and um, take him out of the packet to see what he looks like. Alright guys, so here he is out of the package. Um, to be honest, this is just his normal outfit, but on the, the packaging it says Stealth Armor. Which he doesn't literally have that much armor on. Which again is just his normal look. But sadly, no long hair. Pretty nice well detailed. Pretty nice and sharp. But uh, anyway guys, uh yes, this is actually the first unboxing of August. I already did the early unboxing for August yesterday. But anyway guys, hope you guys like Comment, subscribe. Also, before I leave, I'm giving this a hundred out of a hundred. But still, like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another plush. I mean, not a, uh, another video. Well, this is kind of like a plush review, so yeah. But anyways, I mean, anyway, happy Friday. So yep, uh, I am reviewing the Marvel Basic. Mattel Marvel Basic uh, Scarlet Scarlet Rit Witch Plush. Uh, I found this yesterday morning at Walmart. And I, again, I didn't know Mattel made a Scarlet Witch. I mean, they just got in the TMNT Mutant Mayhem Plush she's in last week. And... They also brought in WWE plushies, like the ones you saw that they have all the way up in Walmart or up there in Canada, if you guys are from Canada. So yeah, uh, I'm going to take the tags off, like the little hanger and the little book tag. So anyway, let's go ahead and she we'll see what she looks like without the tag on. Sorry if I'm like mispronouncing stuff because um, I keep biting my gums and I don't know why. Okay, guys, so, this was, I really don't know why they put the tag on her shoulder for literally no reason, but, um, anyway, guys, uh, that's it for this plus review, and I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and have a great weekend. Ooh, so, yep, I forgot to tell you guys from my review video I did on the Scholar Witch plushie this morning. I actually got another package that just came in today. I actually pre-ordered this on my other Amazon account with Amazon credit. And I feel like it's not in a bag if I open the hell of the box. So, yeah, I'm going to see what it is and show you guys what it is. It's probably one of those Demon Slayer pop plushies I pre-ordered, so anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. So, I'll be right back in the next scene. Okay, guys, so here he is, Tondro. Um, yes, this is just like the Batman one I kind I actually did a review and unboxing of way back of January a year ago, so y'all want to go ahead and check it out, go ahead uh, look it up. Uh, so here's the tags. Demon Slayer Funko plushies. So yeah, um so again some of y'all really want to know what the whole thing like what say for example like Tondra was here. Again, it's kind of like a reference to the like to uh All Might's crowd from My Hero Academia when he says I am here or I'm here. So it's basically like that. 
but not the Super Smash Brothers reference, because, uh, you know, but anyway, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what he looks like without the tag on. But sadly, I did not get Nesuko, because Nesuko will be coming by next Friday, a week from today, because hopefully, uh, UPS will deliver it. So, you know, let's go ahead and take the tags off, shall we? Ah, darn it. I thought I paused it. I don't know why he doesn't want to do that. Okay, just for the record, I said darn. Like, D-A-R-N. Like, darn it. So, here's he, here he is without the little tag on. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh... Sadly, I couldn't get the Great Eastern one, because for some weird reason, they, like, the one that ha him's just sitting is, like, uh, nearly 30, actually $28. Don't know why, but, hey, uh, this was cheaper, so anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, in this review, I am reviewing the Mattel Star Wars Disney Darth Vader basic plushie. Now, yes, I did take a look at the Scar Scarlet Witch one yesterday and the Leonardo one from Mutant Mayhem last week. So, in this week, we are looking at, I mean, in today's review, or I mean, I am putting this on my uh, 3rd August unboxing, so compilation, so yeah. Um, here he is without the tags on, and I will tell you guys before I end the video on how I got into Star Wars when I was, like, a little kid. So, anyway, uh, before, um, I show you guys what he looks like without the tags on, pretty nice detail, and he got a little leather on him, like, leather gloves and boots. So, let's go ahead and take the tag off. Like the little hanger off him, the little uh, plastic thing, and the tag. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So here he is without the little hanger thing that he hangs on. And here he is without the tag on. Pretty cool picture. I might probably display this after the video. No. Here is my origin story on how I got into Star Wars. Before they were owned by Disney. Now, um, the very first Star Wars film I watched when I was little was the 2008 Clone Wars movie that was by Warner Brothers for some reason because I thought Fox would have made the movie. But I think in the Clone Wars movie, the one that's based on the show, a few months after the the movie came out in theaters, is on Disney Plus. I don't know. I will have to look again. And the very first character who I liked when I was a little kid was Darth Vader. Why? I mean, look at him. He's like kind of reminds me of Severoth from Final Fantasy VII. But, he used to be a good guy named Anakin Skywalker, and joined the dark side, and that's how he became Darth Vader. But, anyway guys, I uh, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alright guys, so we're doing another plush review. Now, yes, I did do one on the Darth Vader one the other day, but this one is not going to be for a plush skin. Because I already got a Bleacher Creature for uh, Black Panther. So, yep. Uh, this is from Mattel. And, uh, let me just put it out here. So, this is what he looks like. And they also just came out with a new one, like, not that long ago. And he, they added, like, this fabric. Uh... Thing to like the fabric um, stuff on it, which is pretty cool. So here's the little hanger and the tag from Mattel. So let's go take 
let's go ahead and take the tags off and see what he looks like without the tags on. So, here we go. Alright, guys. So, here he is without the tag on. So, yeah. Here he looks. Here he is without the tags on. So, uh, yep. This is just to be a quick review. Quick review. But, anyway, guys. If you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another review video, and happy Tuesday. So, yes, we are reviewing the Marvel Star Wars basic Bubba Fett plush. Uh, I got this for Walgreens, the same way like I got the Black Panther and the um, Darth Vader one. But some of y'all have been wondering, how did I actually get the Scarlet Witch one? I actually bought it for Walmart, like, I want to say like five days ago about five days ago yeah about five days ago uh there were like nine dollars and ninety eight seven cents at walmart one of the plushies at walgreens were like 4.99 again i don't remember so anyway here he is to me he looks like a stormtrooper Again, I, and I don't know, but let's go ahead and take the tags off of him and see what he looks like without the tags on. Okay, guys, so I took the tags off of him, including the little hanger thing. And yes, um, here's the tag. It's just like the, um, Darth Vader one we did a review on a few days ago. So, yeah. Um, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so... Yep, it's finally here. I got this from a website called fun.com. Um, I thought it would be, like, a bad website, but... I heard good reviews about this website. Uh, I thought I was supposed to get this by the 17th, but no. I actually got this today in the mail by USPS. Um, I was originally going to supposed to get this order a few days ago on the 11th, which was like four days ago, but I never did. So, anyway, uh... Still trying to like, uh, you know, be awake because I just woke up not that long ago. But anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this, shall we? Oh, wait, I thought I paused it for a second. Okay, guys, so here is Nesco out of the box. Um, I'm surprised they didn't even put her in a bag. That's what Amazon did with uh, Tondra when I unboxed Tondra a few days ago. But, yep, uh, here she is. Uh, she got her little bamboo thing on. Pretty likeness from the character. But, anyway, let's go ahead and take the same tag you already saw on um, Tond Tondra off her and see what she looks like without the tag on. So, here we go. Okay, guys, so here she is without the tag on, tag on, I mean. Sorry if I mispronounced tag. Uh, so the review for this is going to be 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe.